So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to update Sadachi. I'll be supplying all the files for this. So first you're going to copy the Sadachi executable and go to home applications and you're just going to paste it there and overwrite the previous Sadachi executable. If you do not know where this Sadachi executable came from, you can go ahead and watch my other video and that'll explain where that executable came from. Next, we're going to add games to our emulator. This is Sadachi generally, but it can go with any other emulator like Yuzu or Ryu Jinx. Wherever you downloaded your games to, you're just going to cut the games and you're going to move them into your ROM directory, which should be under the emulation folder and into ROMs. You scroll down and go to switch and just paste them there. That should be where your games are. Don't install them in the emulator itself. Just cut and paste the games into the ROM switch directory. And we will go ahead and do the updates next. Whenever you want to update a game, you go wherever the update is. In this case, it's going to be in my downloads folder. So I'm gonna go into applications and I'm going to run Sadachi or whatever emulator you want. This could be Yuzu, Ryujinx, whatever. And you're just gonna to go to file, install files to NAND. And then you just double click on the update and approve it. Next, I'm going to show you how to make Sudachi appear inside of Emulation Station. What you're going to want to do is go to the ESDE folder and you're going to go to Custom Systems inside that directory, essystems.xml. You're going to replace it with the file that I supplied to you. The only thing that's different is there's just one line of code that I added that's different so that it will work in Emulation Station which is Sudachi. Saying this, I did not mess around with anything in the collections, so the collections themselves might not work with the audio. There's been an audio issue with Sudachi inside of the collections or in game mode. I am not gonna go into that because I have no information on how to fix that, um, but I have read around on Reddit on how to fix the audio issue inside of Emulation Station, so you should have audio for the game inside of Emulation Station if you do not have it in your collections. After updating everything and adding your games, you're going to want to go to EmuDeck and you're gonna go into your Steam ROM manager and you're going to add games and update them. You're gonna parse them for the Steam directory to be updated. You should get some notifications of it baking the cookies as I call it, or the batch is loading. Once it gets to the final batch and that disappears, you can just exit out of EmuDeck. Once ever you exit EmuDeck, you're going to go ahead and either run the game mode, or if you want to add controllers, I will go ahead and show you how to do that. To do this, you can have any type of Bluetooth controller. I've tested out many of them. I also bought some controllers, the 8-bit Do Ultimate. 2.4 gigahertz controller which I'll be going ahead and linking in the description the Amazon page for the controllers that I use and for you to use this in your emulation software you're going to go to home and applications and what you're going to click on whatever emulation you want so for this case I'm just going to go ahead and do Sadachi you can do it on Yuzu or Ryu Jinx I believe that um, Ryu Jinx may not be in here but there is a directory where the app image is. You can go into the Steam ROM manager and find out where Ryu Jinx is loaded from or the executable. And you can go ahead and just run it from there. I'm going to go ahead and run Sadachi and go into emulation, configure, controls. And it's going to be a pro controller. And once ever it connects, I'm going to add it as the 8 bit do wireless controller, which is the one I'm using. The only thing that you may have to change is the AB. XY, that's the only thing that I've really had to change whenever I got a controller. And as you move around the controls, you're going to see that it's emulating a controller. Everything looks good. And you're going to save it as well. You can save it as a profile. I just named it 8 bit do black controller, or just 8 bit black controller. And then I just close out everything and I go ahead and run the game mode.